The Law Firm for National Construction, or LFNC, celebrates its 65th anniversary on August 13. According to LFNC President Professor Dr. Pandong Chit Vongsa, highlighted the Law Front for National Construction's role as the fundamental unifying political body in the fight for national liberation, protections, and development. <laughs> Speaking at the meeting in Vientiane on Monday, the 10th of August, LFNC President Professor Dr. Pandong Chit Vongsa said, "The Front was a fundamental political organization that openly dealt with internal and foreign affairs, following the consolations of the Communist Party of Indochina one year later." <laughs> Professor Dr. Pan Dongjit reminded the audience of the most critical period from 1957 to 1960, when the second battalion of the Lao Patriotic Front, or today's LFNC, was blockaded by the enemy at the Print of Jars, and the front leaders were arrested. However, the battalion and leaders succeeded in escaping from the blockade and prison. He said, after the country achieved liberation, La Patriotic Front was the flag bearer for unifying the people for national defense and development. In his address at the meeting, Vice President Bunyang Varajit saluted the outstanding courage and great sense of duty exhibited by the Front, saying the national mission and victory would not have succeeded without the United Front's contributions. Meanwhile, he called on the front to exert more effort to overcome the challenges of the new era, which came together with opportunities. Vice President Bunyang also called for improvements to the front and mass organizations to meet the challenges of developing a socialist-style market economy where democracy was ruled by law amid regional and international integration. The LFNC was established on August 13, 1950, when it was known as Neo Laos Isala, or Free Lao Front, with Prince Supanuwong as its president. Following the front, the Lao resistant government was also established with Prince Supanuwong as prime minister. Mr. Kaisuan Pomihan as minister in charge of the military. Mr. Nuhak Pumsawan became Minister of Economics. Mr. Pumi Wongwijit was Minister in charge of the Interior. And Prince Sukwongsa was in charge of Education. The Front contributed greatly to mobilizing people in building the revolutionary stronghold and expanding the revolutionary movement in both the political arena and the armed forces. The Front contributed to the fighting that accompanied the victorious liberation battle of the Nguyen Phu in Vietnam in 1954, which led to the Geneva Agreement in 1954 on Indochina. The Front also contributed significantly to the establishment of the Lao People's Party, or today the Lao People's Revolutionary Party, on March 22, 1955.